What's going on guys and welcome back to today's vlog. Today I want to update you guys on the Duramax, the gearing, uh, the speed, RPMs, all that stuff. We did get the truck retuned, tranny recalibrated, speedometer should be right on. I have not tested it yet, but we're going to find out right now. So uh, let's get in the truck, let's check that out. Also, I ordered the new, uh, I believe it's called the uh, HyperTech or MagTech uh, rear diff cover. Um, I'm going to see, you know, a lot of people say it, you can put more quarts in it, uh, up to three to four quarts, and also it keeps it a lot cooler. Let me know, comment down below what you guys think of these covers. I never really believed in them, but I've never really tried them before. I always left, just left it stock, but I did order one. It should be in today, and, uh, you know, hopefully it works. I know they look good, but I don't know if they're a myth or I don't know if they actually work. Right, now we got the old uh, Dirty Max running here. We're gonna let it warm up for a little bit and uh, confirm everything. And if you guys are wondering, so far since I have picked the truck up on Saturday, I have put 207 miles on her. I've been driving, trying to drive the crap out of her to get these uh, new gears broken in here, uh, but it's it's pretty hard. All right, as of right now, I got to set to 45 because we're sitting in town here, getting out of town, I should say. And my speedometer says 45 or GPS on the phone says 45. Once I jump on the freeway, um, we'll take it up to, you know, 70, 75, and then see uh, if it is still accurate. Should be pretty much almost right on, or if not, maybe a mile off, but it should be pretty dang close. And also, just an update for you guys. Uh, some of you guys asked me, you know, or told me, Eddie, you're gonna hate this new gear setup that you're gonna go with. It's not good for fuel mileage and all that. Uh, you know, I didn't buy this truck for fuel mileage. I'm not looking to get good gas mileage for this truck. I bought it just to tow, basically. Uh, you guys know this is not my everyday driver. I do not drive this thing every day. So to me, I, you know, I'm not going to be hurt if I don't get good fuel mileage. Um, but, I mean, as of... Uh, oh, hold on, i got to make sure I don't smash uh, this little guy over here. Hey, how you doing? But as of right now, for the, the gearing, the, the power, the torque, I mean, it's incredible. This thing... I mean, it's hard to explain, but it's just, it's there. You know, when you hit the throttle, it's there. The, the, I, I don't know if it's the torque or it's just the responses right there. Before, you'd hit that throttle on this thing, and, you know, you'd have to have the RPMs get up to, you know, 2,300 RPMs to get this thing to move, you know, really stick your foot in it. Uh, this thing, I don't really have to stick my foot in it at all, and, I mean, it, it, goes you know it responds right away first we got to stop on my local coffee shop if you guys are in the area go get some coffee tell them eddie's life sent you all right we've hit the freeway okay we got the cruise control set to let me see we'll go 65 let's go to the app now and see sure enough the app says 65 to 66 yeah 65 yeah, it's 65 so it looks like it's right on as of right now and also if you guys are wondering currently the fuel mileage I'm getting according to this it says my average is 17.8 uh, I believe if I go to the other one that we have here yeah right here 15.7 uh, so almost 16 uh, that's what the truck says and that is with the new uh, gears that have been put in here Okay, I got cruise control set to 70 now. At 70 miles an hour, we're at about 1,800 RPMs. Hold on, let me switch lanes so I don't smash this Tacoma. And according to the GPS, we are at 70. So it's pretty much right on, guys. 70, 71, it's saying. So it is pretty much on the money. Now let's go. Let's go 75. All right, so at 70 six i guess here 76 miles an hour we are at exactly 2000 rpms we'll say 75 75 mile an hour 2000 rpms and the phone says 75 miles an hour so you know it looks like we're right on everything's good let me know what you guys think now did this truck used to go you know that high of an rpm at 75 no it would be right right, right about 16. the problem with that was if i was towing something I would literally have to manually downshift it or put my foot into it a little more so I can shift it automatically to pretty much start going. I, and you know, I mean, I'm not 
cruise in this truck. I don't drive, you know, 80, 90 miles an hour. Uh, so when I drive this truck, I'm just cruising. So to me, if I'm doing 70, 75, and it's at, you know, 18 to two grand, doesn't bother me, it's fine with me, but I'm also curious to know what you guys think of this new setup, and you know, if you guys would do it to your truck, and how you would like it. I have noticed though that it, it feels like it's less stress on my transmission. You know, I don't really have to get on it to get this thing going. You know, you touch the gas and it's instant response right there. Boom. And that's one thing why I'm I'm loving it and I'm so happy with it. And I can't wait to hook up the boat and the toy hauler and tow with it. All right, guys. So the parts have just came in. We got the Firestone spacers, two inch spacers for the situation you guys saw in my last video what happened. And yes, it's weird. They use the Firestone spacers for an airlift uh, product, which airlift does have a spacer, um, but everybody online says it sucks, it's horrible, and the quality is very cheap. Everybody recommend the Firestone spacer. So we got the two inch Firestone spacers. Also the rear diff cover has came in. I will show you guys that I open it, um, but I, cause I wanted to count the holes and confirm. I know the Duramax has a 14 hole, um, but I know on the one I got, the high tech, mag high tech, the top and bottom hole you don't need to use they pretty much cap it so instead of a 14 like the stock one it's a 12 which that's perfectly normal but i will uh, unbox that once i stop driving and i'll show you guys what it looks like hey oh, who's waving to me what's up man i watch your videos oh good you're on the vlog right oh, now man yeah, yeah, say what up yo i love your truck that's thank nice you bro nice try i like that what year is that it's a four and a half it's an ly ly there you go guy i told you i like the the older trucks and the LML are my favorite trucks. And this one right here, these without all of like all the emissions crap, it's got some, but not a lot. And these are great trucks right here. Yeah, it's amazing. I have like 500 to the wheels right now. Nice. Yeah, I got it to do a PPI as well. Nice, yeah, yeah. That's, I love PPI tuning, man. It's the best. Yeah, it's amazing. That's good, brother. Yeah, it was good seeing you you too, care. man. We'll see ya. All right, guys, so I just got a phone call. I guess uh, the Dodge, you guys remember, uh, I don't know if you guys remember Johnny's Dodge the uh, ram that got buried here at Evans Tire right now. And uh, he just hit me up with a little surprise, I guess. He's putting some 37s on this. He wants to get rid of the 295, 6520s that he had on it. And he wants to go with the 37s. Now he chose to not do the mutters. He said he likes the mutters, but he wants to try out the RTs. So, and there's the uh, rim setup and the uh, tire setup. He went with, what size are these? I think a 37, 13, 50, 20. If I can find it for you guys, right here. So he went with a 37, 13, 50, 20 on here. RTs, there's one of the rims right there. I'll show you guys that he's uh, getting on. So it looks like he went with the uh, XD series rim, I believe. I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of it is. How you doing, man? What'd you go with, G, the XD series? Yeah. So, I mean, we're gonna see. This thing is only level two. Uh, we have not lifted it. They haven't done really anything to it. All it's got is the Fox shocks on it. He's got the springs that gives it, I don't know, I think it's a two and a quarter lift. And, uh, you know, he hasn't um, done any trimming at all. So, we're gonna find out once they put these 37s on and see, uh, you know, if we got a trim. And I'm very curious too how this truck's gonna run because. This Dodge comes with a 342, you know, gearing ratio. So, I mean, as you guys know, we've been fighting the gearing ratio with this thing. We finally got it done and it's running beautiful. I love it. Very curious to know, you know, pretty much how this thing's gonna drive and uh, if it's gonna take them, you know, three days to get up to 70 miles an hour or not. All right, he's got the fronts on, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. You think he's gonna rub like crazy and just destroy everything? Or uh, I guess we're gonna find out, see if it doesn't rub. We're gonna have him turn real quick and see uh, if he grabs right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, come back slow. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, trim this right here, guys. So it looks like if you do have a Dodge with a leveling kit, you're gonna have to trim back here. Uh, turn it the other way. Let's go to the other side. Well, no, that's gonna be sad. I wanna see this side right here. I hope this thing don't grab. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead. All right, looks like he's clear there. Well, you clear that side. Clear. Yep, but uh, yeah, this part right here, we're gonna have to chop it. Okay. 
All right, let's roll. We're going to now head over, uh, if you guys remember Anthony, the, the Dreamer. Mr. The Drifter Dreamer, you know. Well, that's nice right there. We're going to go check out his Drifter. Dang, this thing is filthy. Look at this. Uh-oh, here it is, guys. Here it is. What do you think? What do you think? The Drifter Mobile. What up, guys? Wow. Look at those rims. Hey, look at those rims. Those rims. Oh, these are the nice ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those, aren't, those aren't too bad. I guess it looks like you're rubbing a little bit over there, brother. Oh, it's not bad. So is this thing like run now? It's done? Yeah, I've seen the police brakes and fix a couple lines. What do, you, what do you guys think? What do you got, Toyo? A little plus 18 offset there? What a... Some nitto. Can you even turn? Yeah. Yeah? Probably more than I, I did. The fender's not on yet. I got a buddy stand put it on yet. Oh, 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 okay. Just sitting there. Nice. Oh, let me know, uh, what do you guys think of this, uh, bad boy? Or girl? Looks like she's ready to drift. Historic vehicle. Okay. Uh-oh. We're gonna get into the guts of the drifter right here. Brace yourself, folks. Woo! What is that, 6.6 six, Duramax? Twin turbo? Jeez Louise. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I told him get rid of this thing, sell it, and let's go get him a Duramax and uh, just, uh, you know, have some fun with this for a little bit. And, you know, eh, I guess it kind of looks fun. Looks nice, looks pretty, but I, you yeah, know, I don't know about these drifters. Oh, is that is that custom? There you go. So now when you pull up to the car show, bam! You show them your twin cam, monster. Look at that hose right there. This hose is a little long though. I know. I think it needs to just trim it just, just a wee bit. Oh yeah, high horsepower, baby! And I know I said I'd show you guys the uh, diff cover that I got for the Dirty Max. There you go. I did get the uh, Mag High Tech. Uh, I didn't pick this specific brand for uh, because you know I, I, I like this brand or it's better than the other. They're all pretty much the same thing. Um, I just like this because it's got the dipstick right here, so you can pull the dipstick and you can check and see how much fluid you have in there. But I mean, honestly, all these are pretty much the same thing. They're all going to dissipate the heat and they're all going to hold, you know, two to four more quarts. So whatever brand you do go with, you can't go wrong there. It's a good product overall. Here are the uh, spacers for my airbags, as you guys know, so they don't get destroyed and ripped and limit any travel. They are two inch spacers and I'll do a full review review for you guys on my airbags uh, in a different video because a lot of you guys ask me. You know, what kind of airbags you have, how do they work, how to wire them, and I'll show you how easy it is. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.